Now, Bank of Japan's new governor, Kazuo Ueda, is set to take the helm this weekend when Haruhiko Kuroda steps down from the top job at the central bank. Michio Ishida takes a look at what's at stake after Mr. Kuroda's decade of ultra-loose monetary policy. It marks the end of an era as Haruhiko Kuroda officially finishes his tenure as the governor of the Bank of Japan on Saturday. When the former Asia Development Bank chief took the BOJ top job a decade ago, Japan was still recovering from the 2008 Lehman Financial Crisis and the 2011 Great East Japan Earthquake. Handpicked by the late Shinzo Abe to fire one of the three arrows of his Abenomics economic policy, Mr. Kuroda unleashed unprecedented monetary stimulus that was credited for jolting Japan out of its economic doldrums. Since uh, 2013, all up to 2019, before COVID-19 pandemics happened, we saw every year the uh, growing number of tourists. Okay, so that really contributed to the Japan services receipt. And also in 2013, September, the Tokyo was selected as a city to host 2020 Tokyo Olympic. So from that moment, there are lots of um, city development and like construction hotel, uh, lots of uh, development projects started. And together with uh, Bank of Japan's low interest rate, it created a lot of um, activities uh, in the uh, services sector. Taking over from Mr. Kuroda is Kazuo Ueda. Unlike past governors who traditionally hailed from the central bank or the powerful finance ministry, Mr. Ueda is an academic by training. He may not change drastically, drastically, drastically that uh, uh, framework, old framework of Mr. Kuroda, but he may analyze uh, each policies and try to reduce that the side effect of each monetary policy framework, such as the uh, negative interest rate policy and yield curve control and asset uh, purchase scheme. For example, he argued that the negative interest rate policy in Japan is harming the profit condition of regional banks. So he wants to increase or cancel the negative interest rate policy, I think. When he changed the monetary policy, he may take into account that the external condition of economy and the financial market. Japan is still haunted by its deflationary past, and Mr. Kuroda's ultra-loose monetary policy has been blamed for keeping debt-ridden zombie companies alive. It's really helpful, especially at, the, at, at, at this time, you know, very, uh, when there's a global uncertainty. That is good, but at the same time, maintaining very low interest rate, especially long-term interest rate for such a long time, may hamper the further uh, corporate restructuring. So, like, uh, unviable companies stay there, and then we have a labor shortage, right? So those uh, labor force should be transferred to more viable uh, companies, and more money should be allocated to the more viable companies. With Mr. Ueda's reputation as a pragmatic theorist, some analysts think he will eventually move out of Mr. Kuroda's shadow and chart his own path. Michio Ishida, CNA, Tokyo.